Hello everybody, greetings and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now today we have an amplifier board that we want to assemble. First things first, this is the MP3 player, USB, Bluetooth, radio. Next we have a transformer. This is a 12-0-12, rated at 1.5 amperes. The true yellows are the positive and the white is the ground now this is the switch uh, these are RCA connectors for the speaker these are the connectors for the mp3 module for the power and also for the signal and then we have the amplifier body itself this is a TDA 2030. 2030. These are the volume knobs, bass, trample. These are the ICs. It has three 2030 ICs. This is the heat sink. Yeah, to dissipate the heat. So let me put this thing in the box and then we can test how it performs. So I've finished placing everything together in this box, but uh, it looks quite small. The components are fitted, but the box looks quite small. But in the meantime, we can just do the testing and see how this amplifier performs. Yeah, let's do the testing. So this is it. Uh, a transformer. The motherboard for the amplifier and the display. I think the display is the one that has taken much bigger space. But I like this display. It's quite good and performs very well. So its power is coming from this 7812 down here. Yeah, this 7812. Uh, this is the switch. It was my first time to construct this thing. So this is the left speaker, right speaker, and this is the base speaker, eh? the subwoofer. And this is the power switch. This is the aerial, the FM antenna. I have not yet placed it where it should be, but just find a place. So for the speakers, I have two here. Is this one? This is the G1610F. I think you can see. Let me zoom. Yeah, 1610F. This is a 40 watts nominal. We we'll use it as a mid. This is the wire. I did not find an exact one like that other one so I found this other one here and this is a 40 watts nominal both are 4 ohms impedance the other one is also 4 ohm impedance you can see it's a 4 ohm impedance yeah so we we'll use these two as the mix then for the base just decided to use this one from a subwoofer, a small subwoofer. These are 4 ohm 30 watts. Yeah. 4 ohm 30 watts. So this will serve as the subwoofer and then these two as the mids. So let's do a testing.
So let's hear some music. There's some music in this uh, memory card. So let me plug it here. the main volume tempo base So let me test a little bit more bass and see. So what I'll do, uh, let me place this guy in a small box to hear the bass, and then this other guy, together with this, I'll give them a pair of tweeters here, and then see how the whole system performs. Eh? So let me connect that one. So what I'll do, uh, because I don't have a right speaker for right speaker box for this speaker, I'm going to use this one. This is from a uh, subwoofer. But as you can see, the speakers are just the same. But let me just use this one. So I remove this one, place this one, and then do some testing. Quite dusty, and then probably I may add some lights to the front of the speaker box. So we have finished setting up this thing. So we have this speaker here with its Twitter. And the other yellow one is here with its Twitter down there, up there. There this is the base. So the Ufa one we have put it back, but we're not using it. So we're using this one for the base, and it's why it's coming from here up to here. The left speaker, right speaker. Now we are playing with this thing. So let's see. 
base zero let us add some base and see well so the system is good the lights are just to show when the speaker hits hard but they are more visible during the night eh? because there is low light let's see So I would say that the system is good, is working well. You only need a box, bigger box, because this one, the cover cannot fit so well. So I just find a bigger box. Yeah, thank you for watching the video.